Hi, and welcome back to Sharing Our Heritage. My name is Scott Hearn, the Corporate Archivist for Campbell, and on today's episode, we're installing a new Heritage Hall display focused on recent acquisitions and additions to the Campbell Archive. Let's go. Our archives collection is always growing. Each of our brands has their own distinct history and acquiring new items helps us to find and save as much of that rich history as possible. Whether we made it or someone else made it, it's worth adding to the collection. My favorite way to receive new artifacts is when people who love our brands reach out and offer to donate items that help to fill the gaps within our collection. Connecting people through food they love has always been at the heart of who we are. The first item I'd like to highlight today, right here, this is a 78 RPM recording of a jingle for our new line of frozen soups introduced by Campbell in 1955. This item was found and donated to us by the daughter of Robert Tutlian. He was well known in the Chicago area for working on jingles and also performing at Chicago Schubert Theater where he worked in the pit and performed in over a hundred different shows. And he also toured at Frank Sinatra at certain points. Taste what freezing has done for soup. Taste what freezing has done for soup. Campbell's frozen soup. This pack of tomato seeds right here is from 2001. They're actually beefsteak tomato seeds, which is the first product that we ever canned. Back in 1869, when we were Anderson and Campbell, it was beefsteak tomatoes. So that's a fun little one. This ticket stub for a game show called Double or Nothing. I pinpointed this at January 12, 1950. This is a really fun little piece of our history because Campbell's has a long, long, extensive history of sponsoring various radio programs and television shows. One of the biggest television shows being Lassie. So having stuff like this is not easy to come by, especially at its age. Can a Wookiee be a cookie? These are the existential questions of our lives. So items like these that have a passionate fan base are one of the more difficult items for me to try to collect, but it's worth it because we need to keep that history intact and we need to make sure we have an adequate representation of this time. And these cups, 1983, these were part of the cookie collection because here it says, enjoy Pepperidge Farm Star Wars cookies with your favorite beverage. The last item I'd like to highlight today is this Lance jar. It's one of our most recent additions and was donated by Peggy Ziolo. This jar was called the Space Saver and was a countertop display to sell Lance sandwich crackers. These jars would be dropped off by Lance salespeople in drugstores, mom and pop stores, and gas stations, accompanied by a five cent honor box, which we were lucky to also have as part of our collection. This is a great example of these jars. It's very rare to get glassware in this good of shape. Peggy got this from her father's antique store, which was called Uncle Carl's Barn in Grand Junction, Michigan. So she kept this for over 20 years in her cabin in Michigan and filled it with change. And she reached out to me asking if I would like it. And I was very excited. So she donated this to us. And it's just a really nice example of how our brands can have so much meaning for families for generations. And uh, I'm really excited to be able to keep this and preserve it for the future. Connecting people through food they love has always been at the heart of who we are. And it's why Campbell brands are so cherished by people across generations. Thank you to anyone who's ever reached out or donated artifact to our collection. I love seeing how our brands have been part of your family's story.